Welcome to this DairyNet video tutorial. This tutorial explains the core data. The core data shows all important information on an individual animal as well as data on milking, feeding, and animal action history. The core data can be opened in two ways. On the one hand, the core data can be opened by clicking on the desired animal in the cattle list. On the other hand, it is possible to switch from the cattle info page to the core data, which will be opened in the cattle list. For this purpose, a shortened view of the cattle list is displayed on the left side. The animal for which the core data are currently opened is highlighted. The core data opens on the right hand side and is structured as follows. The top line is highlighted in green and shows the animal and ear tag number of the selected animal. The cattle info page can also be opened here via the eye icon. The core data is divided thematically into several tabs, ranging from ID information to milking and feed controls to the animal action journal and sorting commands. The individual tabs are explained below. The first tab of the core data gives a quick overview of the general information of the selected animal. In addition to information on identity, such as cattle type, animal number, breed and status, information on age, lactation, enter leave, and first insemination calving is given. In this example, the purchased animal with the animal number 630 is currently in the third lactation on the 207th day of lactation. The identity data can be changed directly in this tab. In the tab ID slash group, the responder number of the animal can be managed. In addition, the current milking, feeding, and barn groups to which the animal is assigned are displayed under the title cattle groups. A group change can be made via the pencil symbol. For this purpose, an additional window opens in which the new group can be selected. In this example, the animal is assigned to a different milking group. The animal can be removed from the currently assigned group via the wastebasket symbol. Changes must always be saved using the save button at the top right. The tab breeding offers the possibility to manage birth information, such as mother and sire, as well as relative breeding values. In addition, the calves of the animal are shown under the title offspring. These are listed in a table with the date of birth, sex, ear tag, and, if applicable, the animal number. In this example, the animal with animal number 630 gave birth to a female and male calf. In the milking control tab, settings for milking can be made individually for each animal. Under the upper left area separation, the total milking of an animal can be separated from the milk tank due to colostrum or antibiotics or a separation period for waiting time meat usage can be set. In this example, a separation period is set via the pencil symbol because of antibiotics. For this purpose, the window Separate Antibiotics opens. Here, the beginning, from, and the end, until, of the separation time can be determined with date and time. There is also the option of setting the separation time to unlimited, so that the milk separation does not stop after a certain date. Unlimited separation means that the milk is separated from the specified start time as long as this tick has not been manually removed again. In addition, the box cleaning type can be determined. It can be chosen between rinse and wash. The milk line for the separated milk can also be selected. Here, the individual milk lines or the indication that the milk is separated accordingly as defined in the milking control plan of the animal can be selected. After entering the required information, the separation can be transferred with OK, and the window closes. Subsequently, 
All active detachment settings are marked in red. Click on Save in the top right hand corner to save the data. If a separation period is saved, a wastebasket symbol also appears next to the pencil symbol. If you click on the wastebasket symbol and then select Save, the settings for detachment can be deleted again. In the right hand area, Animal Attributes with Milking Impact, settings can be set at quarter level. For each quarter, the teat state can be set to Standard, Visible but not milkable, Not Visible Robot, or Does Not Exist. This allows the milking of the individual quarters to be controlled. In this example, the rear left quarter is set to non-visible. For control purposes, ticks are set accordingly in parallel in the teat specific area. In this tab under the column, do not milk. This allows individual teats to be excluded from the milking process. Within the lower area, teat specific, Settings can also be set at quarter level. The column Ignore Missing Milk Flow can be used to deactivate the milk flow detection for the individual quarters. In the column Separate, the quarters can be separated from the milk tank and the milk line for the separated milk of a quarter can be selected. In this example, MS20 is selected for the front left quarter. By placing a tick in the column Do Not Milk, the respective quarters can be excluded from the milking process. As soon as changes are made in this tab, the new entries must be saved via Save, so that they are activated for the selected animal. The Preview Separation function opens an overview in which the milk lines are defined individually for each quarter as soon as the entire milking or individual quarters are separated. This overview is used to check the set milk lines. In addition, the utter coordinates of an animal can be reset or deleted in the tab. This recalculates the coordinates of the udder during the next milking visits. Further milking and box settings can be made for the individual animal in the Dairy Robot tab. At the top left, the next milking allowance is defined with an exact time when it becomes active, or since when the next milk allowance has existed. The example animal has had a milk allowance since 3.58 am. Under Milk Control Plan, the individual animal is either assigned to the milk control plan by its milking group or it can be assigned to a different milk control plan independently of the associated milking group. In this example, the assignment type is changed from group to individual, and the milking control plan is set to production 320 grams. The changed data must be saved by clicking on save at the top right. In addition, the box length for the animal can be set in this tab, and a compel milking authorization for this animal can be set. On the right hand side, periods can be defined in which the animal is set to not to be milked, manual attachment, blocked exit, or not dipped. For this purpose, a new window can be opened behind the respective functions by clicking on the pencil symbol. Here, the start date from and the end date until can be set as well as the exact time. By pressing the OK button, the window closes and the time periods are assigned to the function. The activated periods are afterwards displayed in blue. This entry must be confirmed by clicking on Save at the top right. The Milking tab contains a table with information on the past milkings in the lactation. This information shows milking information for each milking in addition to further details about the animal, such as lactation number, day, and milking group. The milking number column shows the number of milkings on the respective day. 
This is followed by further columns on the attachment time, milking parlor, and stall. There are also two columns, planned manually and scheduled manually. If a milking was planned or scheduled manually, this is indicated by a cross in the respective column. This is followed by columns with further milking parameters, such as milk yield in kilograms, expected milk yield in kilograms, average milk flow in kilograms per minute, and milking duration. The column Milking Status records all information from a technical point of view. If there is no technical error, the milking has proceeded correctly from the point of view of the automatic milking system. The reason for a faulty milking can be read in the next column with a mouse over over the reason code. Should a milking have been suspicious with regards to conductivity, a milk or color alarm, or due to separation, this milking is marked with a red cross. If the animal has given less milk than expected, this is also indicated by a cross in the respective column. In addition, individual milking can be controlled on a quarter basis. For this purpose, further information can be opened via the small arrow on the left in front of the milking reference time. There, the before mentioned information is mapped for each individual quarter to enable a more accurate milking data analysis. In this example, the animal with animal number 630 had a rear right conductivity alarm on July 18th, 2021. To get more information about the listed milkings, a specific milking can be selected. Under the table, an area that shows further process data for the milking opens. This area can be closed again via the green box with the white cross. In addition, a graph can be called up to visualize the milking data, which appears below the table. To do this, the Show Graph button at the top right has to be pressed. This graph is the same graph that is shown in the Cattle Info page. As in the Cattle Info page, the graph can be set individually and criteria can be shown or hidden. The blue graph shows the milk yield for each milking visit. To take a closer look at a particular area, this particular area can be marked by pressing the mouse button. It automatically zooms into the corresponding time period. This zoomed area can be undone under Reset Zoom. In addition to the milk yield, the expected milk yield the milk flow, the milking time, and the alarms can be displayed. A legend opens to the right of the graph to assign the colors to the correct parameters. With this graph, it is also possible to obtain the exact values for the selected criteria by using the mouse over function. Another window with the exact milking data of this milking visit pops up. In the tab Daily Average, you can see the 7-day average and the daily average of the last 24 hours for each day. The table also shows the number of milking visits and the average milking time per 24 hours. In the graph below, a lactation comparison of the 7-day or 24-hour average can be selected. Likewise, a comparison of key figures for a single lactation is possible. Using the mouse over function, an additional window opens in the graph with the corresponding lactation day and milk yield. The tab Lactation provides an overview of the total milk yield of the animal per lactation. In the graph below, the lactation stage performance, 100, 200, 305, and 365 days in milk, as well as the total milk yield, can be analyzed. The individual pillars are shown in different colors. Each lactation is categorized by a specific color. With the mouse over function, the exact milk yield can be read in an additional window. In this example, the total milk yield in the second lactation is 12,874 kilograms. 
In the tab, Sampling, the data of the milk samples for the individual animal are shown. However, these are only available if the milk sample data has been imported into the DairyNet application. In this view, the results of the milk sampling, such as the fat, protein, or the cell count can be analyzed. In the Feed Control tab, feeding settings can be made individually for the selected animal. Under Allocation Type, it can be selected whether the animal should be fed according to the feed control plan assigned by its feeding group or whether the animal should be fed individually. For this case, the animal can be assigned to another feed control plan regardless of its feeding group. A feed control plan must be created in advance under the menu item Feeding. To delete a feed control plan for the animal, a click on the wastebasket symbol is necessary. If a different feed control plan should be selected for this animal, this is possible via the pencil symbol. A list with all stored feed control plans opens. After clicking on the desired feed control plan, the selection must be confirmed with Select. Finally, the settings are completed by clicking the Save button at the top right. After saving, the table below shows the feed quantity the animal can access at the milking box or, if applicable, at the respective feeding stations. In this example, the animal with animal number 630 is entitled to one type of concentrated feed. The daily permission is 5.4 kilograms. Currently, there is a feed entitlement for the animal. The current demand is 2.5 kilograms, which results from rest of the previous day. By clicking on Enforce One-Time Feeding of Max Portion, the animal will be allocated the maximum portion at the next feeding visit. A period of time can be defined under Do Not Feed, during which the animal is excluded from the feed distribution. The entries can be saved by clicking the Save button. Further, animal-specific settings can be made below the table. By clicking on the desired function, the settings are activated. In this example, the animal with animal number 630 is set to retrieve the assigned feed entitlement before being released from the milking robot. The change settings must be saved. Another function in this tab is the setting of an individual constant feeding, which can be added by the plus symbol. Another window opens in which the settings specifically for this animal can be arranged. This includes, among other criteria, feeding, feed quantity per day, and the period for which these settings should be active. After filling the mandatory information, this can be confirmed by pressing the OK button. The window closes and another table is created showing the selected individual feeding criteria. The entry must be confirmed by clicking the Save button, as described before. The individual feeding visits for the animal are listed in the Feeding tab. In addition to the exact time, the feed, the portion, the consumed amount, and the feed motor at which the animal picked up the feed are shown. In addition, the slider in the top right-hand corner can be used to display a graph showing the feed visits per feed over the last 30 days or to compare the daily demand of the feed amount consumed per feed visit. With the mouse over function, exact time and quantity information on the individual feed visits can be tracked. The Journal tab shows the past bookings and upcoming plans for animal actions in chronological order. Animal actions displayed in yellow can be assigned to health. Animal actions displayed green are assigned to inventory development. And animal actions displayed in black are assigned to reproduction. Above the table, these three topics are listed. It is possible to filter the animal actions in the list by selecting or deselecting them. 
If only the animal actions for reproduction are to be displayed, health and inventory development must be deselected. Above the table, on the right hand side, further system actions can be displayed in addition to the animal actions. Therefore, initially the slide controller must be activated. System actions are actions such as separating the milk. In this example, a milk separation was stopped on July 21st, 2021 due to antibiotics. For each animal action, there is a short description in the table with the most important information. This includes the action date, the lactation number, and the lactation day at the time of booking. In this example, a pregnancy check was booked on the animal's 144th day of lactation with a positive result so that the animal status has changed from inseminated to pregnant. The action type and status can be filtered via a drop-down menu. The animal actions can have different states such as booked, planned, provisionally booked, canceled, or externally booked. The last column, edit, contains an eye symbol to look at the planning and booking screens again. Animal actions from the reproduction section can also be edited via the pencil icon. The individual lactations are separated by a green line in the animal journal. The assignment of the individual animal actions to a lactation is directly recognizable. In the tab, Sort R, the current sorting command, if available, can be viewed and the selection areas to which the animal has been assigned during the past 14 days can be traced. The top line shows the current sorting area and the current instruction of the selected animal. The current sorting area for the example animal with the animal number 630 is defined as young cattle barn. The current sorting area is set to sort the animal one time into the treatment area. If it is a permanent sorting command, this is marked accordingly behind the current instruction. The current instruction can be deleted using the wastebasket symbol. Creating a one-time sorting command can be done independently using MView, the mobile app, or via the DairyNet desktop application. A permanent sorting command is only possible in the DairyNet desktop application. The table lists the history of the last sortings carried out. The sorting rules for the animal can be traced through this list. The column type shows whether the sorting was done by sorting rule, sorting command, or manual input. The bar chart shows the animal's sorting areas over the past few days. Each bar represents a single day which means a total of 24 hours. The individual colors represent the different sorting areas and are shown in the legend below the diagram. With the help of the mouse over function, the duration of stay in the respective selection area can be called up again in an additional window. The alarms from Cal Scout for the individual animal are stored in the attentions tab. In addition to the date, information regarding the attention type is provided. Examples include in heat, increased activity, or reduced feeding time. In addition, the last column shows whether the alarm was triggered during the insemination period of the animal. In this example, the animal with the animal number 630 had the Cow Scout note in heat on May 16th, 2021 during the insemination period. This is the end of this video tutorial. If you have any further questions, please contact your local dealer.